Hi everyone. I have a small haul from Bead Box Bargains, the sister store of Bargain Bead Box, which I do subscribe to. And I received this a few days ago. Um, I just never got around to making a video for it. This, uh, I ordered this on the 3rd of February and it came, like I said, a few days ago. Um, the free gift they gave me this time, looks like. It was out of a kit because it has a number eight on it, but it's little antique silver flowerlings, which are really cute. And maybe I'll use them soon. I think I still have some to use also. Let's see if I have this in order. Probably not, but I'll try and find them. All right, I'm gonna try and go in order. So I have that light set. Okay, these are first, these are Check pressed glass snowflake cabochons. These are undrilled. They're flat backs. So these are to bead around or glue onto something. I will be beading around them to make pendants. I think they're beautiful. And they came in a pack of two, 21 millimeter. Check pressed glass snowflake cabochon undrilled matte light sapphire AB. And those were, before any discount, they were $1.29. Now, I had a coupon since I'm a member of Bargain Bead Box. You can see there's a little color variation in them. This one uh, is a little less shiny, and this one has a little more, a little bit lighter blue with some sparkles in it. And this one's more of a periwinkle. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but they're slightly different. So they will be two different pendants for two different necklaces, probably. Um, we'll see. Okay, so that's the first thing. And then the second thing is check pressed glass ripple beads in blue luster. So it has to be these. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so let's or organize a little better. This was the first thing. And then these are also blue, but they're blue luster and you get 10 pieces. I ordered two packs of them. So let's see what these look like. I think these are really cool. I love this blue luster color also. It's a little deeper blue. Aren't they cool? Now the drill hole on them is in the center. So they'll, they'll, they'll be like, if you string them on beading wire, they'll be like a spacer type thing. Or you could... I'm probably thinking I'm going to use them for like pendants or earrings and do something like that. And maybe I'll do that pretty soon because I think they're really cool. Anyway, I got two um, packs of those and there's 10 pieces per pack, 12 millimeter. Check glass ripple beads. I don't have those in my stash, I'm pretty sure. But I will tell you, I have so much in my stash that I'm not in 100% positive. And then the next one is two piece, and I got two of these also, 18 millimeter, check press glass, geometric flower, coin beads, topaz slash lila pink slash champagne watch. These were $1.59 each before discount. Ooh, they're prettier than they look in the bag. I wasn't too sure about the color, but they're kind of a nice neutral. I actually really love them and they'll go nice with champagne beads, topaz beads, clear crystal, any kind of tans. Uh, beautiful. They're really pretty. I like them a lot. And those are beads, not cabochons. Yeah, they have a hole. Um, some of the holes might be a little bit closed. That one in particular, this one looks okay, but this one, I don't know if you can see it. You can see some of the whites. So I might have to take my bead reamer is all and um, just ream it out a little bit because that is where the hole is since the other one is right, right across from it. So just be aware that some of your, and, and I, that happens when they do the wash process. You know, they put that, what did they call it? Champagne wash over it. The wash goes in the hole sometimes and it just didn't get reamed out enough, that's all. All right, then we have fluted melon beads. I saw those, here we go. I love melon beads, I don't know why. But these are in, they're eight millimeter, check press glass fluted melon beads, matte alabaster, which is like a cream color, I think. Cardamom spice. 
Well, I guess alabaster must be the, the green. Huh. And the uh, cardamom is like a tan color wash on cardamom spice. Anyway, I think they're really pretty. I probably should have gotten two of them, but maybe there weren't two left. I, I don't remember why I only got one. Um, they were $1.49. Then we have table cut oval beads. And I got these in turquoise swirl with silver wash. These are 16 by 6 millimeter. I got two packs of these also. Because I figured if I'm going to do a necklace or something and earrings, I want to have enough. These are drilled long ways, top to bottom. These are with the silver wash, turquoise with silver wash. Aren't they pretty? They're different. They have kind of variation. It says turquoise swirl, so they're each a little different, almost like a gemstone, but I think they're gorgeous. Of course, I love turquoise, but these almost remind me of like ocean waves and water and stuff. I think they're beautiful. Of course I do. That's why I bought them. And then I got the same thing. Uh, they were $1.99 for seven pieces. Excuse me. Table cut glass oval beads. And then these are the same thing, only they're turquoise swirl copper wash. I love them too. They have a more organic feel. The other ones remind me of waves with what, you know, the white caps. But these are more to me like a sky and earth kind of thing with the copper on them. Really beautiful. And they're also drilled top to bottom. So, and I got two packs of those as well at $1.99 a pack. And then. I got some surgical steel fish hooks. Ear 68 is their number. Um, let's see how many you get. 20 piece, so 10 pair. I got two packs though, so I have 20 pair. They were $1.39 for 10 pair. 20 millimeter surgical steel fish hook ear wires. They have a ball and a coil. I thought, well, surgical steel is a good thing for your ears because a lot of people have allergies. Now, they don't say on here that they're, well, if they're surgical steel, they should be lead-free and nickel-free, but it doesn't have an annotation or anything like we get in our bargain bead box. Then I got a 10-piece strand, 12-millimeter floral brown beads. These are gorgeous. Um, in magenta slash green. I just love the color of these. Hey, look, they might go with those melon beads, too. Hoo, 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 so pretty. I love these. I maybe should have got two of these, too. <laughs> Magenta green. No, ten. Sometimes I have to stop myself and say, no, you'll make one piece and then, you know, you can finish them. But if you get two of them, then... But then sometimes I feel like I won't have enough of them if I don't get two. You know what I mean? Okay, so that's those. And then I have... And now this was a repurchase from the last, uh, the February, was it February? Jan the January bargain bead box. The raspberry dyed faceted quartz teardrop. I really love that. I had wrapped it in um, antique bronze wire and put a little swirl on it for a necklace. So if you missed my finished jewelry pieces from January bargain bead box, go check that out. Then I have enamel coated glass. I got two of them, so it must be this one. Um, okay, these are the same as what was in the bargain bead box in January as well. And I loved them, so I got two more packs of those. And those were, they call them 10 millimeter enamel coated glass rounds, pink slash cream. They were $1.39 for 10 pieces. I got two. They go really nice with that raspberry pendant. And then uh, I got this one. These are a little smaller, 20 piece strand, approximately eight and a half millimeter enamel glass round beads in red with pink accent. They have a sort of a tan to them also, but red and pink accent. So they also will really go. Oh, I love that. They'll go nice with that faceted quartz too. 
So there we have those. And those were $1.69. They were a little more for the smaller ones. Enamel glass round, but you get 20 pieces of it. I wouldn't put those two together. See this pendant, I should have got more of those. Eh, that's a different color than that, but it would go with this, but it goes better with this one. I might have to do that. All right, and then uh, I also got 20 piece strand, 10, approximately 10 millimeter enamel glass rounds, cyan accent, which is this sort of a teal, blue, green. So these are like the ones we got in our, our kit only you get 20 pieces of them for 229 and i love that color i think that's beautiful that teal green so i think that'll go well with things might even work with those and yeah, maybe not i like those better with that might go with one of these yeah, yeah. i don't know i'll figure something out okay and then i got some lobster claw clasps 18 by 10 millimeter in silver these are a little bit bigger but they're not gigantic these would be nice for a necklace um and let's just see they're pretty they seem to be pretty nice actually sometimes you get them and they don't open but it's tog 356 if they still have them and they were a dollar 45 for 10 pieces so that's a good good deal and I like the size of those usually I get like the 12 millimeter but these are 18 by 10 and then the last three things I got they had this faux flat faux suede cord they had it in different sizes but I got the three millimeter I got it in minty blue rose and violet and I'm thinking I'm going to use that violet one pretty soon uh, and possibly this one too um, and I have findings already, so I only got one of the minty, but you get a meter of this, just like they give you a meter with the chain that we get in the bargain bead box. It's about, a, a meter is about 39 inches, roughly. It is a flat faux suede. It's really nice, and that was only 89 cents per meter. So, yeah, if you're looking for bargain jewelry making your suede and leather may, may be the way to go, the faux suede and faux leather. Um, and then you can, um, you don't even really need endings on one end of it anyway, because you can loop it over a ring and then wire wrap it, which is probably what I'll do. Um, if you want it to look neat in the back where a clasp is, you can still do the wire wrapping thing, but you could also, they have findings that are like fold over bindings which I have some of and I need to use them so that's what I'll use so that's my haul from bargain bead box nope bead box bargains uh, for February I don't order every month anymore because I just have so many jewelry supplies but I, I wanted to see what they had left for the the January box because I really liked this and I really loved these and that was what drew me there um, I didn't really get anything else from the kit, but then I started looking at more of those enamel glass. And these just caught my eye with their sparkle and, you know, how it goes, right? Ooh, you know, see this? Nope, different color. This is how I do. I go and compare colors and say, would that look good with that? No, it's a different shape. Anyway, have a great day, everyone. I hope you enjoyed Sorry for my long-windedness, and uh, yeah, have a great February. Happy Valentine's Day, and I'll be back on the 15th with a collab I'm in. Um, it's an, uh, I, I miss January, but I'm starting this month, and it's with Pirates Pretties. So it is a monthly birthstone challenge, but there's some other uh, optional, no, they're not really optional, there's some other creative challenges in there too. And then after that, the 18th for my collab, Jewelry Making Fun. And then after that, a few surprises. All right, bye for now.